Taha is a pious young man. His mother fell ill, so he took her to a private hospital. The doctors admitted her for three days. After running tests and x-rays, they told him to submit 5,000 Egyptian pounds at the counter. So he went to the counter and stood in the queue. A girl who was sitting behind the counter was staring at him. When his turn came, he could not find his wallet in the pocket. The girl smiled and said, it is alright, I will submit the money on your behalf and you can return it to me later. On the next day, Taha went to inquire after his mother and returned the money to the woman. The woman told him that his wallet was lying in the locker room but there was no money in it. He did not pay much attention to the money and was rather focused on the beauty of the woman. On the following days, he started talking to the lady and found out that she was divorced and she had a one-year-old daughter who lived with her father. He told her that he liked her very much and after her mother recovers from the illness, he will go to her home with his family to propose to her for marriage. The lady smiled and gave him her address. After the mother recovered, Taha and his family went to the lady's house and there they saw that the two families had a great difference in terms of knowledge and religious matters. The young brothers of the lady are illiterate and biostrous. They talked in high voice and did not offer prayers. Her sister laughed in a bad manner but despite this, Taha insisted to read the Surah Fatiha and pray even though his family had rejected this woman. When Taha and his family returned to their home, they scolded him and told him that this woman could not adjust with them. Should he decide to marry her, it will create a lot of problems in the future. He must find a pious girl who is from a good family and who may adjust with him. But Taha was adamant on his demand. Taha's brother saw that he was so attached with the woman, he went to the lady's divorced husband to inquire as to why he divorced her and retained the custody of their daughter with him. He saw that he was a pious man. The lady had asked for divorce herself when he had asked her to look after their home and children, but she had refused to look at their daughter because she was materialistic and dreamt of great wealth and wanted to live her life by her own rules. She thought that her daughter will restrict her in pursuance of her dreams. Taha's brother went to him and told him not to follow his desires so as not to regret later. He reminded him of the verse of the Holy Quran where Allah Almighty says, And do not follow your desires or they will lead you astray from Allah's way. Taha paid no heed to his brother's advice and decided to follow his own desire. He went to the hospital without an appointment to let the woman know of the engagement day that he had decided for them. When he entered the hospital, he saw that the police were arresting the lady on the charges of theft. He came to know that a worker had confessed that the lady has been asking him to steal from young man so that she may trap them and she has committed such a fraud many times in the past. Taha left the hospital worried. He thanked his family, sought their forgiveness. He thanked Allah who protected him from this fraud. وَلَا تَشْتَرُوا بِعَهْدِ اللَّهِ ثَمَنًا قَلِيلًا إنما عند الله هو خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون ما عندكم ينفد وما عند الله باق ولنجزين الذين صبروا أجرهم بأحسن ما كانوا يعملون من عمل صالحا من ذكر أو أنثى وهو مؤمن فلنحيينه حياة طيبة ولنجزينهم أجرهم بأحسن ما كانوا يعملون